Wow, another hot day. Hey, Dr. Amano, ahoy! You're still out here? Hi, how are you? Come around? What are you up to? I want to take a look at something we haven't really done a video on, and I'm going to do some more videos on something called complex ions. Um, here, a ligand is a molecule or an ion that surrounds the metal in a complex ion. So any molecule ion that surrounds the metal in a complex ion is a ligand. Ligands are Lewis bases. Now, some examples of ligands, and again, you see these metals, if you remember, in hemoglobin and myoglobin and chlorophyll. Um, these ligands can include things like ammonia. You can have pyridine. You can have carbon monoxide. You can have triphenylphosphine. So notice they all have unshared electrons, and they can all bind, say, to a metal and capture a metal. We can also have two sites or more than two sites to be able to bind. One we call a bidentate. Dent means teeth. Let me put a T here, it should be a T. Bidentate, bidentate, think of dent meaning teeth, so there's two teeth. I can bite from this side or this side, so there's two possibilities of binding. These can actually hold a metal like a claw, and we sometimes call these chelating agents. And an example would be here, this diamine, this is ethylene diamine, or here you can see we can bind metals from here and here. There's two spots or two teeth. So we would call this, this is the oxalate um, ion. We can also have polydentate. Polydentate also, like bidentate, can hold metals like a claw. These are good chelating agents. Here's a really good example. I bet you've never seen an ion with a minus five charge. This is tripolyphosphate anion, and as you can see, it's got a whole bunch of different sites that we can bind different metals to. Wow, I never did see that before, okay. Dr. Romano. I, I hope this gives you a good idea on the players um, of the possible ligands that you might come across. We'll do some problems in the future even naming some of these complex ions. If you go to the Dat Destroyer, we have a couple of good problems involving complex ions such as calculating oxidation states of the particular metal within the um, complex ion. All right, I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys in study group. I got to, I've got to say something, Dr. Romano. I really like that T-shirt, SB. I didn't know that was anemone. Well, now you do. Good day to you. Wow, I learned something else today. Always learning from you, sir. Good day to you, sir. Bye-bye.